And I think it goes hand in hand with the emphasis on secure by design and secure by default and the incident reporting. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, we've talked about mandatory incident reporting for decades in the cybersecurity world. Uh, and, the, and what I always heard when I was the undersecretary at DHS, uh, what companies would say, you can't, you know, we, we can't, we can't um, disclose our incidents because our competitors aren't disclosing theirs and that will put us at a competitive disadvantage. It will be a stigma. It will look like we're the only ones that are getting attacked when really everybody's getting attacked. Um, and, and so uh, we've, we heard that, we heard that, we heard that. And the only way to get over that ultimately is to have this mandatory incident reporting is to say, no, you, you know, everybody has to be on a level playing field. Everyone is getting attacked every day. And, and we need to reduce, we need to eliminate the stigma associated with that. And the same thing has to happen now with respect to these vulnerability disclosures. And I think Jen Easterly, uh, my friend uh, who now runs CISA, is, try, is working on that and trying to lift up and, and hold as exemplars companies like Fortinet that are forthcoming about their vulnerabilities and when they put out these uh, advisories. 